Consultation start for changes to be made to cabinet, prime minister to set up commission on violence, and groundbroken for Hanover housing development. These and other news stories coming your way in today's Jamaica House Weekly. On Saturday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said the world lost a great humanitarian icon when he learned of the passing of former Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan. The Prime Minister said the 80-year-old served with distinction during his two-term tenure and was the epitome of a dedicated international civil servant. The first black African to head the United Nations, Kofi Annan is remembered for being an architect of the Millennium Development Goals. The 2001 Nobel Peace Prize winner was also persistent in his call for governments to be held accountable for the treatment of their people. Earlier in the week, Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced that he would be setting up a commission to stem violence in the society. This commission, he said, will include the media as stakeholders. It is not a discussion for politicians solely to have. It is a national discussion, and when I announce this commission, I'm certain that we will be inviting members of the Press Association and the Media Association to participate to help us to come to a Jamaican solution to this issue of violence. Mr. Holness made the disclosure Monday at the 49th Annual General Assembly of the Caribbean Broadcasting Union and Public Media Alliance. As he committed his government to supporting press freedom through the passage of key legislation, Prime Minister Holness welcomed Jamaica's sixth place ranking on the World Press Freedom Index. He also urged the press to use its influence to counter the ill effects of fake news and alternative facts being promulgated through social media. The best protection from the dangers of social media is to have a free press that is strong in ferreting out the truth. At Jamaica House Wednesday, the Prime Minister held his quarterly press briefing. While giving updates on the economy and other key sectors, Mr. Holness confirmed that a cabinet realignment was on his agenda. There will be some changes, obviously, uh, and I'm, I've already started consultations on that, just to make sure that in making those changes, that in, in correcting one problem, I don't create another problem. He said a new science and technology minister would be announced once he's met with and given directives to all the boards within the ministry. As for the energy portfolio, Prime Minister Holness said the terms of reference for the team to help the state to determine Petrojump's future had been finalized. In addition to the possible buyback of Venezuela's 49% shares in the oil refinery, the commission will also review the divestment of Wigton Wind Farm and the state's shares in the Jamaica Public Service. The energy portfolio has good uh, administration from the civil service and public service uh, point of view. Uh, and as soon as the Commission delivers its report and the divestment agenda is clear, then I don't need to have that under my um, supervision anymore. While at the press briefing, Mr. Holness said the enterprise team overseeing the island's divestment of the National Solid Waste Management Authority should complete its work in 14 months. As for increasing access to public beaches, the Prime Minister said the Cabinet will deliberate on a draft beach access and management policy come September. A town hall meeting is to be held to update the nation about the government over a project. And a parliamentary committee is to be initiated to review the standing order governing dress code for persons entering Gordon House. Of course, there's going to be robust debate in Parliament, but I think that the general sentiment for which MPs should pay attention to is that... Um, we should, we should align our, our policies to modern thinking. On Thursday, the Prime Minister was in Hanover to break ground for the latest National Housing Trust development. To be named Industry Cove Manor, the almost five-hectare property will have 23 detached two-bedroom and 42-bedroom townhouse units. While he welcomed the Trust's new chairman, Lennox Chana, Mr. Honus lauded the agency for sticking to its mandate of building houses for Jamaicans. The Prime Minister also announced that employment opportunities were on the horizon for Hanover residents, with plans to increase tourism investment in the parish. Mr. Holness called on citizens to secure these investments by cooperating with the police to rid the parish of criminals. I appeal to the people of Hanover, take up your security in your hands as well. The police, they have been tasked, they have been mandated to work with the communities, provide information and let us clean up the communities once and for all. 
And that's it for Jamaica House Weekly. Be sure to join us next time for more of the news stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.